Hello, this is Steve Smart. I'm the treasurer of Cross Lutheran Church. and will be sharing with you a temple talk today about our year-to-day financials through June 2020. First, apologies. You can probably see that I have a row of pens in my pocket here. The problem is, is I've lost my pocket, pocket protector, and it was deluxe. It was two row, and so I, I really feel a little naked, and this isn't right, but I, I hope you'll uh, bear with me on this. The other thing, too, is I was so nervous about this presentation this morning, I went looking for my slide rule. Those of you who are old enough, you probably know what those are. Anyway, it's, it's the one, a tool I use to do the financials, and I've lost it. And so I'll bear with me. I just hope that the numbers are correct, and I think that they are. So a little bit about me. Um, my wife and family accused me of being a, a guy that's pretty tight with money, and in fact, they also accused me of when I walk, I squeak. And um, so I kind of think of it as being uh, fiscally responsible, fiscally conservative, and I'm proud to wear that badge. Well, enough of that. What I'm going to do today is share with you uh, our financials at a very high level, and I'll be sending this information out to you by email, too, that you have the numbers to work with. I know there'll be a number of them, but you can't have a financial report without having financials. First, I'd like to talk about the good news. Our year-to-date net income through June is almost $15,000 above expenses, and that's both for our general fund and also for our building fund. Our checking account balance is $55,700. Our building fund capital campaign account is uh, over $155,000. Our savings accounts, 10500 That money came from the sale of Excel Energy stock. We still have a line of credit at the bank for 10000 for emergencies. And, we, and I think you all know that we did receive an SBA loan of $33,900 that will hopefully be converted to a grant. All of this financial strength has been made possible by your generosity from the monies we received. The council is most grateful for all of your benevolence, and we know that many other churches would love to be in our financial position. We do have some concerns, though, we meaning the council, as we look at our financials. I shared with you that we do have $55,700 in our checking account. Of that $55,000, $22,000 has been committed to uh, special accounts like Welka, the men's group, the COVID fund, um, and those sort of things. So we really have $33,000 of, of monies available. If you factor in what our, the monies we got from our uh, SBA loan, which is $34,000, you can uh, quickly see that our checking account would be, for the general fund, would be gen almost zero. And then if you factor in the costs of what we've not been paying, which has been Synod Benevolence uh, and a few other costs that are more discretionary, we could have easily been by now almost eight to $10,000 negative in terms of our account. So uh, while we are sitting financially okay, we do have these concerns. There's one part though that, that we want to talk to you about that, and that's about going forward. As all of you know, if you listen to any news or radio or TV, how bombarded we are by this COVID-19 information, we're concerned going forward about how this will affect us, uh, how we will conduct our services, how we will do uh, Sunday school, how we'll do different fundraising projects, um, including, uh, but not limited to, Welka and their uh, cookie fund. So we are, uh, we meaning the council, are really concerned about going forward. So we ask of you to continue to support us financially as you have. And even if you have extra incomes uh, as we go forward, we have spots for those incomes to pay for those things that we haven't paid for before. When I first came into the building this morning to talk to you about this, pastor's expectation of me was to, uh, to get multiples of 10,000s of dollars to come in extra so that we, we were really strong. I say that a little tongue-in-cheek, but we are uh, hoping that, again, praying that your, in, your givings will continue to come. And if you have extras, uh, keep in mind this is God's money. And uh, we look forward to being with you and sharing more updates as we go on. 
So God bless you. Blessings to you all. And um, contact me if you have questions.